So in work example six, we're going to calculate the length of the unknown side in the following triangle. So let's start by labeling it. The opposite to the right angle, the hypotenuse we call C, and the other two sides can be called A or B. We're going to solve this, so we're going to start by writing the formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared. I'm going to substitute in some information. So C is replaced by 19 equals A squared is 14. And B, we don't know. It's a Y. So replace it with that Y. Okay. So now we can do it in a few different ways. We can find out what these squares are. And then we can rearrange, which is how most of you will feel most comfortable. So let's find 19 squared is equal to 361. Check it on your calculator if you don't believe me. 14 squared is 196. And y squared we don't know. Now, we've got y on this right-hand side, and we want to get it on its own. So we have to get rid of this 196. So... If we take 196 from this side, when we solve an equation, we must take 196 from the other side. So 361 take 196, feel free to use your calculator if you're not confident, is 165. 196 take 196 is 0. And then this leaves me with a y squared over this side. Now, I want y on its own. So just like before, we'll have to square root it. Now, if I square root that side, I'm going to have to square root this side. That's going to leave me, oops, excuse me. That's going to leave me with a y on this side. And now I have to find out the square root of 165 which I don't know off the top of my head. I put it through my calculator and I get 12.8452, etc. To two decimal places, I've got 12.84, and the following number is a 5, which means I must round up. So I'm going to have 12.8452. To two decimal places. Now some of you would like to write that with the y on this side and it gives you the room to write the decimal places. So your final line can be y equals 12.8522 dp. And as always to let the person know that you've finished you underline it. I'm running out of room by the looks of things.